These are the famous calla lilies. Now, I got a question for you, Aaron. Do we have the rose lilies still? How many of the rose lilies we still have? Okay, everybody, right here and right now. We're going to show you the calla lilies, and then in a second, we're going to show you the rose lilies. Whatever you do, do not wait on the rose lilies, because this it was a today's special value. It sold out of the rose lilies, and guess what? Whatever it was, computer glitch or somebody canceled their order, we have a few of the rose lilies remaining. Like, we're going to show those pictures in a second of the rose lilies, because you have to see these and they will sell out. So they're here now. It's an eight piece uh, collection. And the wow of this is you also get the fertilizer. I don't have a sample of the fertilizer, but I know Steph does because the price of the fertilizer is like $24 on QVC.com right now. The famous Roberta's fertilizer comes along with this, with this offer. So it's a steal. So it's the eight piece collection for like a couple more dollars. You get it, including these incredible rose lilies. So here comes Steph, and here come the rose lilies. Oh, Steph, great to have you here. Hey, Rick. I'm happy to be with you. Okay, we're showing the rose lilies. You go for it yes. for 600 people who are shopping right now. Yeah, you know, Rick, you said this was our TSV back in February, and we created both of these collections with the beginner gardener or the master gardener in mind. And what you're seeing here is the rose lily which is kind of um, the new and improved. Maybe you've seen an oriental lily, the stargazer, which is a six petal flower that we all know and love. Um, she smells sometimes a little bit too strong and she has those pollen covered stamens on the inside. But now fast forward to what you're seeing here, the rose lily. You can see there, Rick, these are voluptuous flowers. Instead of just six petals, you are going to have four times that. So you could have upwards of you know 24 petals on a single flower. You're not going to have that same pollen mess. There's actually no pollen in the center of the flower, but you're still going to have this really delicate, sweet floral fragrance. And that collection, it's an eight-piece collection that's two different colors. I would love to go through the those lifestyle images with you so that we can see each of the individual colors. But what's so special about whether you're going to choose the rose lilies or the callas, like you said, Rick, both are going to come with an entire bag of our Roberta's Bounty all-purpose plant food, which, as you mentioned, on .com is like $24 in and of itself. So the value here is unbeatable. Pick up both collections if you can. You can never have too much of the fertilizer because there's no shelf life, honestly. And you can use that fertilizer on absolutely anything that you're growing this season. So you're showing the colors right now. You've got them in front of you. The yep. purple, the red, the picotine, those are the calla lilies. Give me the wow Correct. of the calla lily. Why is, the calla lily's got to be one of the most beautiful flowers on earth. I think the calla, I call it the summer tulip because it has that beautiful fluted um, shape similar to the spring, the spring tulip. But the calla, it's one of the most graceful and elegant flowers. In this collection, it's an eight piece, which we've never done before. Two of them are brand new. You just saw the white. She's brand new, and then there was that picotee, which picotee just means sort of bi-colored flower. But Rick, I don't know if you've ever purchased callas for your wife, for example, but a single stem of a white calla lily is upwards of five or seven dollars. Wow. So when you think about, wow. you're getting eight bulbs. Eight One bulb. bulb is gonna give you five flowers. I mean, you're just going to have, you're gonna be able to provide bouquets all season long. Okay, now let's and, get into the rose lilies while they're here. We gotta, because yes. a lot of people don't know what a rose lily is. Exactly. So it's kind of like the cool cousin of the oriental lily, for example, the stargazer that we all know and love. Um, but you can see there the profile, Rick, is absolutely stunning. That's the maxima. Now, all of the colors in this collection are brand new. We've never brought any of them to QVC or QVC2 before. So, you know, maybe you've picked up previous collections. Definitely get your hands on these ones. The Mila, they're all going to bring a different personality. But at the at the base, a rose lily is basically just going to have upwards of 24 petals on a single flower, like you can see there. Love you're it. You're not gonna have any of that messy pollen, but you're still gonna get that delicious uh, oriental uh, lily fragrance. Uh, I know you'll, you'll love it because you get the black calla lilies, which are very rare to get mm -hmm. in, the, in the calla lily collection if you're picking up both. However, these rose right. lilies, these are like <laughs> so hard to get, hard to find, yes. easy to grow. It's what your mission is with Roberta's. And mm -hmm. you get, so you get these incredibly rare, and very rare on QVC, by the way, because that's going to be it for the season. No other right. brand of flowers has these rose lilies. They're incredibly right. unique, beautiful. And then you get the fertilizer with it. 
So the combination exactly. is is fantastic. Um, let's totally. go to, to back to the rose lilies. Where do you put these? You put these in the in, in the ground? Do you put these in containers? How do you grow them? Great question. You know, the Rosalie, as gorgeous as she is, she's a super winter hardy perennial, so she can grow almost anywhere in the country. So plant them right in your garden bed, also in containers. Pick up multiple sets. You'll have no regrets. And she's not go they're not going to grow too tall, right? They're going to max out at around three feet, you know, um, at the height of the summer. And you're going to want these wherever you can walk by and enjoy the beauty and the fragrance. Uh, she needs, you know, at least a half day of sun average water and you see here i mean these are absolutely gorgeous they're unlike any you know if you were to find lilies in your nurseries or your garden centers which you can you know there are other types of rose lily or oriental lilies out there i should say but to find these four varieties of rose lilies they're super unique because as you know rick we have great you know relationships with our with our growers over in holland and in, in other areas of the world and so when we were able to get our hands on the small amount that we could for this collection, wow. we had to bring them, and this is all we have for the entire season. Isn't that, isn't it the the, the, the number of the petals and the way the petals are, are the, 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 mm -hmm. from the size to the color to how, lo yes. how long they're going to bloom? All of that together makes this incredibly unique. And realize Absolutely. this is not an annual. So this is not like Correct. nothing wrong with petunias. They're great, right? But this is a right. perennial. So this is coming back year after year after year. Uh, and they're very, very limited. There's like 400 remaining for wow, all of okay. 2022. Uh, That's it. That's right. You're going to get them when it's time to grow them. Um, hmm. So wherever you're at. what's your where, and, and then that fertilizer. Let's brag yes. on this fertilizer. Not all fertilizer is created equal, right? Correct. Not all fertilizers are. This is our customer top rated Roberta's Bounty all-purpose plant food. And basically, it's just going to ensure that your plants are receiving both their mi macro and essential micronutrients that are just going to give your plants, you know, all of what the all of what they need to give you more flowers, more fragrance, but not just your your flowering plants, Rick. Also, if you're growing fruits and veggies this season, that's why I'm saying, you know, don't be afraid to pick up both collections or multiple of each because this will never go bad. It has an indefinite shelf life. And actually, along with many other things in the world right now, there's a, a quite a large sh uh, fertilizer shortage going on. So if you have this, you know, hanging out in your garage, you will be happy. I had no idea. I did mm -hmm. not know that there was a fertilizer shortage. So there add it to the list. Add it to the add list. To list. Crying out loud. 500, uh, 800, 500, 75, 90, our number. Right now, call it. And they'll say, would you like the calla lilies? Deek, get them. Going to be shipped to you when it's time to get them. Uh, get them yes. home. Again, you're getting this this eight-piece collection. So eight-piece collection, let me, help me out now visually. One of them yes. over time will get how much? How big? Great. So as you see here, I mean, that's obviously a mass planting. That's maybe 10 collections of the calla lilies. But what's great is one calla in the first season, Rick. These are what's con considered a tender perennial. So if you get somewhere that gets very cold, all you need to do is dig them up and bring them in for the for the winter. You can replant them in the spring, and they will continue to bloom for you year in and year out. But right there on the left, Rick, that's one bulb after one season. So she's going. one bulb will give you five to seven flowers. And our bulbs, similarly to how unique and special the rose lilies were, our callas come direct from the growers, and they are actually what's considered a grower bulb, meaning it's been they've been treated with a bloom booster. So you're going to have more flowers that are longer lasting. And you can see here in that mixed container, that's that was probably three bulbs together. And that's how I like to plant my calla. So pick up a couple collections and make a couple of really big statement pieces, mixed containers. They don't require a lot of sun. Actually, only you know, a half day or less is all they need. You can grow these even inside. Wow. And you see that was the, the black calla lily that you mentioned, Rick. The most expensive and hard to find calla, and you are getting one is in this really? collection. Is it really? The most expensive, yes. most hard to find is the black calla lily. Are they not mm -hmm. beautiful? Like we're going to see this next shot with the white. Are they not pretty cut flowers as well, right, Stephanie? Absolutely. They will last for, you know, upwards of two to three weeks in a vase also, as long as you change out the water. And that bouquet right there, that wedding bouquet, I can assure you that is way more expensive than just picking up this collection. A calla lily stem, like I said, is like $5 at a florist. So imagine being able to grow all of these colors and cutting them, making your own vases, your own bud vases, um, bud and bouquets for that matter, and having all eight colors. It's not a choice of, which is really great. Which is really great. So they're the rose lilies. Again, they're called rose lilies. Fewer than mm -hmm. 500 to go around. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, uh, there's the name. Give me one line on each. Olympia. Olympia. She is magenta with kind of a Picotee outer white 
um, petal. All of them, really, Rick, because it's not a choice of, you're getting all four colors, two of each. Maxima. And they all, des yeah, they all deserve a place in the garden. This is Maxima, the pure white. She just screams sort of like innocence and just pure grace and beauty in the garden. And you can see just the layers of petals. A rose lily is unlike that traditional stargazer oriental lily because instead of six petals, you're gonna have upwards of 24 petals. You're not gonna have any pollen mess, but you're still gonna have that delicate fragrance that we all know and love and why we want I the think, I think Mila them. and Lorena, I think though, because mm -hmm. there's a buy or try color in these. That's absolutely stunning. Look, there's white yes. and there's red and there's a, kind of a, this fuchsia combination of colors. We're gonna wrap this up, stay in the line. A lot of people picking these up right now. It's final quantities. Uh, Roberta's is coming back, by the way. Coming back with the hens and chicks. G give us one mm -hmm. line on the hens and chicks, if you would, Steph. Instant gratification, and it will give you plans forever, year in and year out. That's a good line. That's a really good line. Thank stay you. tuned, stay tuned. All right. Well, I love this next item. This next item, I, I was in, never, I didn't grow up with, with wind chimes, but the, the, the fact that these are these hand-tuned